Number 10, The Creek. This first story comes from a park counselor who tells of his experience that he shared with one of his coworkers. When taking a hike with a group to the tallest mountain peak in their state, he and his friend decided to go for a quick hike at night to get away from the group for a little while. They were looking at the stars when he heard what he described as the beautiful sound of water. He had this image of a clear, crisp creek stuck in his head and the sudden urge that he just had to go find this creek. He said it was not just an urge, but a need. Since it sounded nearby and the need was stuck in the back of his head, he and his friend silently stood up to go in search of it. As the sound got so loud that it must have been right beside them, but they couldn't see anything, they decided they would go in search of it tomorrow. As soon as they made that decision, the sound and desire to find the creek was completely gone. As they stood there in the sudden silence, he said he could feel the presence of someone watching them, but nobody else was around. The pair silently and quickly made their way back to the camp, unsettled by the experience. When they went back the next day and looked at their maps, they discovered that there weren't any creeks, rivers, or other bodies of water that could have made the sound anywhere nearby. He describes how the night had made them both feel like it was a sinister presence attempting to lure them somewhere, and who knows what could have happened if they had continued in their search for the mysterious creek. Number 9. Artifacts one ranger for a coastal park in South Carolina recounts his experience from opening up the park in the mornings. When preparing the park in the morning, you have to go on a complete park tour, which also means riding down the beach. The ranger said that in his two years working there, he would often find turkeys and chickens chained up on the beach, placed there to pass away when the high tide came. They also recounted finding many different strange artifacts that were either left behind or had washed up on the coast, including things like random bones or pieces of clothing. He spoke to some of the other staff there and many told him that this was the remnants of black magic. They also told him not to confuse it with root magic. While root magic is typically used for positive things like asking for love, health, or luck, black magic is generally more negative and usually involves a sacrifice, hence the chickens and turkeys that they had often found. Number 8. Something near the campsite a group that consisted of a park ranger and three botany nerds were hiking in the woods for a few days when they had an incredibly scary experience. Day one went off with no problems, but around dusk on day two, they were startled by the sound of a scream. As they were all pretty experienced, they brushed it off as a coyote and just looked around the area. The next day, however, things got worse as they heard what they described as a tree falling down. As they searched around, they all saw a figure in the bushes looking out towards their campsite. They all started yelling loudly as they thought that maybe it was just a bear that they could scare off. But it wasn't a bear. They saw the figure again, a tall man seeming to be leaning over something and turning to look towards them again. When it stood up, it looked to be over six feet tall. As the ranger raised his weapon towards it in fear, it took off into the forest, apparently faster than any human or animal should be able to run. When they went back to the area to see what the man had been leaning over, they found the remains of an animal, but not looking like it had simply been attacked by some other predator. The group were rightfully scared and packed up camp, leaving the area, fearing what they thought might have been a wendigo. Number 7. No Tracks this story comes from an instructor for a therapeutic wilderness program where he was in charge of the at-risk youth. He was on the clock in charge of the program for 16 days, 24 hours a day. His second year working with the program, he was staying at a campsite with the group, the shelters just being simple yurts. When they settled down that night, it had snowed, leaving a pretty thick coverage on the ground. He was woken up at around 1 in the morning when one camper had to go to the bathroom. When the camper returned, he told the instructor that he had seen someone out there wearing a plaid shirt. He brushed it off as when he looked out, he didn't see anyone. But eventually, a few hours later, nature called him as well. And when he was out there, he saw someone standing in a plaid shirt. He quickly grabbed his flashlight to shine it on the figure, but in the split second it took him, the person disappeared. No sign of him anywhere around the area. He woke up another instructor to go and search for the person, but they didn't find anything. The scariest part? They didn't even find a single footprint in the snow. Number 6. Strange Encounter This one is short and sweet, but I think one of the most bizarre and scary on this list for how real it is. The worker was surveying a restoration site near an old trail when he heard somebody walking up a nearby path. 
He grabbed all of his things and proceeded down the trail, walking confidently so as not to give the other person the idea that he could be easily taken advantage of. When he turned the corner on the trail, he saw a shirtless man swinging a crowbar around wildly. The man made eye contact with him and yelled out, I've got a crowbar, I've got a crowbar. The worker mumbled out a quick, nice crowbar, before turning around and running back to his truck. So no ghosts or mythical beasts in this story, just a terrifying man wielding a crowbar. Totally normal. Number five, Banjo Audience. One park ranger was taking care of two pretty remote parks about 30 miles out from any occupied homes. And even then, these houses were usually empty during the summer months. One night, he decided to hop into his car and head to one of the darker parks so that he could take in the meteor shower that was going to be happening and also get in some practice on his new banjo. He was sitting on a park bench under the stars playing with the banjo strings when he started to get an uneasy feeling in his gut. No, he hadn't eaten some bad food. He was getting the feeling that somebody was watching him. Questions started to go through his head like, what if someone shows up? This is the burned car park, what if they come back? He continued playing to try and avoid the silence when he heard sounds coming from the bushes and he started to really panic. The sounds seemed high pitch and he started to wonder what reason children could have to be deep in the park late at night. As it turns out, it wasn't children. Instead, three coyotes came running out of the bush. Apparently, they'd been enjoying the concert. Number four, Philmont Scout Ranch. A ranger who worked at Philmont Scout Ranch in New Mexico told his story of what had happened on one of his trips, it being a summer camp combined with a backpacking trek. The group were around Yuraka Mesa. It's in the shape of a skull and has various different legends surrounding it, like it being haunted or even being a portal to the underworld. One of these stories is that at night you can see strange and unexplained lights coming from the top. Well, this ranger had worked there for four years now and never saw them, thinking it was just some crap made up by the other staff. Until one night, a kid pointed up at the mesa and made notice of lights coming from the top. The ranger brushed it off as being the lights of the other group who would be joining them. But when he looked, he realized the lights weren't coming from the trail. They were coming from off to the right behind the mesa, and it didn't look like flashlights at all. They were bright blue. Fifteen minutes later, the other group arrived and the lights were still there, putting away any ideas that it might have been them. To this day, he has no explanation for what the lights could have been. Number 3. Intense Pressure this story comes from a worker who was doing a survey in a park in the interior of British Columbia. Most of the rest of the crew had already gone home, leaving behind just him and his boss together for a few days to confirm coordinates and finish up some mapping. They made their way out to one area on an old logging route, and from the second they got there, he said that things felt off. Fifteen minutes later, they heard an incredibly loud WOMP sound, saying he could feel the pressure in his ears. He looked towards his boss, who also looked incredibly pale, and they heard the sound again, saying the intense ear pressure and chest pressure made him feel like he was being squeezed. They immediately packed up and left, not discussing the event and never figuring out what it was. But he says that it was most similar to the feeling and sound of a giant bird flapping its wings, leaving many people to believe that he had experienced the legendary Thunderbird. Number 2. The Soldiers a crew of about 10 people were out in a park in Washington State building dig lines. They were deep into it, about 60 miles from any other sign of life. As they were walking, they came across a clearing. The weird part was that there were two helicopters there, along with seven fully armed military personnel. They had pointed their rifles at the crew, demanding to know what they were doing in the area. They said that they were doing dig lines and had been scheduled to be there, putting their hands up in fear. The soldiers told them to turn around and leave and forget they were ever there. The frightened people said that they were doing government work and they had to be there. One of the military men responded by saying, no you're not, not today, get the F out of here. They weren't going to argue with that, so they turned around and quickly went on their way. I'm sure we've all thought at least once that the government is hiding something from us, and this is a good sign that there's more than meets the eye. I'm not going to tell you they were guarding aliens, but I bet they were guarding aliens. Number 1. Abandoned This one comes not from a forest ranger, but instead from a soil conservationist who spent a lot of time looking at cropland and prairie restorations, saying it wasn't uncommon for him to find himself miles from the nearest road. 
One time, he was in a pretty heavily wooded area of his county, about a mile from the road, when he came across a clearing. But it wasn't empty. Instead, it was an abandoned playground and school bus, with a rusty swing set and a huge rainbow merry-go-round. While this is creepy enough on its own, he was extra terrified by the fact that the merry-go-round was spinning rapidly in circles, with nothing in sight that would have caused it to move. He called out, and it didn't seem that any people or animals were around the area. Freaked out, he turned around and made his way back. He thought it must have been an old school, so he asked his archaeologist to look and see if anything had ever existed there. But they couldn't find anything about it, or why there would have been a playground deep in the woods. Number 10. Abandoned Car A desert park ranger on Reddit shared a few of their stories that they had experienced while working. One that stands out is their discovery of a burned and abandoned car. When they received the report, they weren't too shocked, as it wasn't a rare occurrence that cars would be stolen and abandoned, occasionally being burned. When they found the vehicle, and as they waited for the fire department to arrive, they were left standing in shock, as it was clear that there was a body left in the front seat of the car. They discovered rope and other strange items in the car, and it was determined that the body had been tied up and killed. The police arrived, but no answers ever came about what had happened there, and they now refer to the area as the haunted site. Number 9. Ghost Woman One ranger took to Reddit to share his story of a scary prank that became much more than it seemed. He went to a watchtower to cover a night shift due to the large number of night shift workers who had recently been quitting. With a 5 hour energy in hand, he was prepared for the long night ahead. The watchtower was tall with multiple flights of stairs leading to the top, and it was surrounded mostly by thick forests and one small pond. No sounds except that of nature and owls. When he looked out, he saw it looked like a snowman, but with the realization that it was summer, he looked closer and saw it was a kid in what looked like one of those classic ghost costumes made of a sheet with holes cut into it. He radioed his only partner for the night and sent him out to go check out the apparent ghost. When he looked out, the person was gone, and while talking to his partner, the radio suddenly cut off, and he saw his partner's flashlight on the ridge go dark. Things seemed to go completely silent, not even the sound of wind or animals. Scared, he moved towards the stairs, and at the bottom of the stairs he saw a woman, tall skinny and dripping with water. Her skin seemed blue, wearing a ruined grey dress and with milky white eyes and her mouth hanging wide open. He rushed back inside and locked the door, desperately calling out on the radio to his partner. He turned and got startled, seeing the bedsheet ghost standing there. He removed the sheet and found it was just his partner's son, laughing to his father about managing to prank the ranger. He was unimpressed, asking if the woman on the stairs had maybe been his partner's wife. Things grew tense and serious as his partner responded saying that he had hadn't put anyone on the stairs. It hadn't been a part of the prank. Number 8. Yosemite National Park Yosemite is a very well known park with a great history, and today's story goes back to the person known as the park's first ever ranger, Galen Clark. When he had been close to Grouse Lake, he heard a loud wailing sound, and he reported it. He thought that maybe it had just been a lost puppy or other animal, so he didn't think it was a big deal and wasn't particularly scared. However, when he spoke to a group of people at their camp, they told him that he had experienced a ghost ghost, specifically the ghost of a little boy who had drowned in the lake long ago, and now howls at anyone who comes near. Just like that, Galen Clark had discovered what came to be known as the Grouse Lake Ghost. People to this day are still told stories of the ghost and report hearing his cries, many avoiding the area in fear of hearing the sound. Number 7. The Lost Hiker This story comes from a park ranger who works in an area with very dense forests, just north of the United States border. When he signed on to his shift, he got a call for a missing person person, not completely out of the usual for the job. It was described as a hiker who had been missing for the last two days, wearing a sweatshirt and a red backpack. He headed out on his truck to the place the hiker had last been seen, and eventually headed out on foot, as he hadn't found the hiker on any roads. He calls for backup and waits, his partner eventually arriving with his jeep. They made their way to a trail where it was common for people to get lost, as the path splits and goes deeper into the woods. They found a campsite, and after looking around, he discovered that his partner was no longer nearby. He waits around for a while, calling out to his partner on the radio multiple times, but getting no response. Eventually, he decides to make his way back down the trail and sees a guy with a red backpack, matching the description of the missing hiker. He described him as walking strangely, not moving his arms, almost like a robot. The man ignores him as he calls out, but eventually nods slowly when asked if his name matches that of the missing hiker. The ranger puts him in the back of his truck and radios his partner again, this time getting a response. What he heard, however, is not what he expected. His partner 
partner tells him that he had found the mystic hiker, injured, and he's heading back to base. When the ranger told his partner that this doesn't make any sense as he had found the hiker, his partner seemed to panic, saying to lock the truck and grab his weapon, and don't let the man out of your sight. As the ranger cautiously makes his way back to the truck, he finds it empty and badly damaged, no sign of the person that he had found. He sits and waits at the truck, anxious and scared. His partner eventually returns, but he never got any answer of just who or what he had met out on the trail. Number 6. Stairs to Nowhere Have you ever been walking in the woods and seen what is clearly a staircase coming out of the ground and seeming to lead to nowhere? Even if you haven't, there are plenty of people that will tell you that they have. There are many reports of these staircases coming from all over the world. One park search and rescue worker recounts how these staircases in the woods seem to be so common that his co-workers would just tell him not to worry about them, but don't go anywhere near them. The staircases range in age and material from broken wooden steps to modern staircases built out of stone. While some can be explained as being the remnants of an old broken down building, others completely stand out from the area and seem to be in a well maintained condition. Some reports have even come in about staircases that would appear to move in the middle of the night, showing up in different areas than where they had previously been. So who built these stairs and just where might they be leading to? Number 5. Kenai Fjords National Park A frozen park in Alaska, Kenai Fjords National Park is home to many different urban legends and scary tales. One story goes as follows. In the late 80s, two newlyweds were visiting the park to go dredging for gold at a nearby mud flat. However, they got their ATV stuck in the mud. They got out of the ATV so they could attempt to push it out and rescue their vehicle, but the wife unfortunately got stuck as well. And as the tide rose around her and she was unable to escape, she drowned. When the park search and rescue team arrived, it was too late for them to do anything, as the tide was too high to make any sort of rescue. They had to wait for hours for it to go back down in order to recover her body. They say that in the area, you can hear the voice of a man desperately calling out for help, the sounds of an ATV trying to escape the mud, and the gasps of the young woman fighting for her life. Number 4. Mountain Lion No, this isn't just a story of someone stumbling upon a mountain lion. That would be pretty boring. Well, not for the lion. Instead, this is a story of a scary experience a park ranger had while out scouting for the animals. They had received a lot of sightings, so they went out to search and close off any trails in the area. He was out on his own in a dark forested area of the park around dusk, when he heard what he said sounded like a woman screaming. This wasn't too abnormal, as the call of a mountain lion sounds just like that. He radioed to tell his team that he had heard the lion and was going to go searching to see if he could discover where its territory was. He heard the screaming a few more times all from the same area, so he marked it down and got ready to head back. But then he heard another scream that sounded dangerously close to him. He starts heading back faster, breaking into a jog to get away. About a mile from the base, the screaming stopped. When he looked back, he saw what looked like the figure of a man. As he walked over and went to tell him to head to the visitor's center, he said that the figure took a quote, impossibly long step toward him and let out a scream, just like what he had been hearing and had originally assumed to be the mountain lion. The ranger immediately broke into a run, sprinting back to base and not looking back. By this time, the screaming had moved deep into the woods again. Not mentioning what had just happened, he just told the team that they needed to close the trails in the area and keep people away. Number three, mammoth Cave National Park. If dark, spooky, haunted caves are your thing, for some reason, then Mammoth Cave National Park in Kentucky is the place to be. With over 400 miles of underground passageways, the cave has plenty of stories and experiences from rangers to keep you up at night. In 1839, the cave was curiously turned into a tuberculosis sanatorium by one Dr. John Krogan. As a dark, deep, unventilated cave isn't really the best place for a hospital, five patients reportedly died while under the doctor's care. Their bodies were laid out on a slab of stone that was referred to as corpse rock, because what else do you call a rock with corpses on it? Rangers and visitors alike can apparently hear the ghosts coughing whenever they walk by the slab. And the most common ghost sighting reported by rangers is that of Stephen Bishop, a servant of the doctor who worked as a tour guide and ranger. He apparently likes to tag along on the tours and apparently shove and grab unsuspecting visitors. Number 2. The Man with Black Eyes Another search and rescue team member recounts this story that happened to them while looking for a young woman who had been separated from her hiking group. They were out late at night as their dogs were tracking the scent, when they found her curled up and scared behind a log. While she didn't have any injuries, it was clear that she had been scared by something. While walking back to base, she kept looking behind her, questioning why a big man with black eyes was following them. The rangers brushed it off, just thinking it might have been a symptom of shock. As they kept going, however, the woman 
got worse, telling the man to stop making faces at her, and even turning and yelling into the forest for the man to leave her alone. Suddenly, everyone started hearing weird sounds all around, an indescribable deep and rhythmic noise. As they were close to the base, the woman turned to the ranger, touching his shoulder and saying, he tells you to speed up, he doesn't like looking at the scar on your neck. The ranger was unsettled as he did have a scar on his neck, but it was hidden under his collar and there was no way the woman would have seen it. He suddenly heard the strange noise right in his ear, quickly rushing away from the scene with the woman to make it back to base. Number 1. Men in Black A man was working on a trail crew, building a new trail away from an eroding cliff. By mid-morning, they decided to take a quick break, leaving the two other members of their crew behind. He suddenly heard a whistling tune. He thought it was his crew, so he called out to them to leave him alone and let him do his business. The whistling stopped, but then just down the hill, he saw two men. They were both dressed in black suits with top hats and carrying canes. They had no water, packs, or anything else they might need for being that deep into the woods. He immediately started walking back to his crew and told them what he saw. They returned back to the area and saw the two men again. One of his crew members yelled down at them and waved, but the two well-dressed men just ignored them, continuing to walk through the forest off the trails, just weaving in between trees. I guess maybe they might have just been searching for an opera in the woods? Number 10. The Boulder this pair of rangers responded to a distress call at 4 in the morning that had come from a family camping in Joshua Tree. The story they heard from the family was something they likely hadn't expected to hear. One member of the family was woken up in the middle of the night when a pebble fell from a large boulder next to their site and hit their tent. When they got up, they looked towards the boulder and saw a humanoid creature standing on top of it. They described it as very skinny and strange looking, moving in weird ways and its eyes glowing in the dark. They said they couldn't mistake it for an animal since it had a flat face, not like a mountain lion or a coyote. As they watch, the creature seems to go down on all fours, crawling down the rock before ascending it again and standing up. He had originally brushed it off as one of his cousins trying to play a prank, but once everyone had woken up, it was clear his whole family was accounted for. As they called out to it, it ran away, and he shined a light on it and said he can't really describe what he saw, except that it appeared to be naked and had a black mark on its body. The rangers tried to calm the family down by saying it was a mountain lion with mange, but I think we all know that what they saw was more than just a big cat. Number 9. Abandoned Sites It's not uncommon to find abandoned campsites in the woods, but these rangers share their stories of the unique, strange, and scary things they found that made them stand out. The first was an abandoned house, with a small shed hidden behind it. The shed had a large steel door which had been broken off its hinges when they found it. The windows had been boarded over and covered up, but venturing inside, they found only a queen-sized bed covered with burned sheets. The next was an abandoned tent found very close to the walking trail. Inside was a large stash of food like beans and rice, a sleeping bag, and a lonely teddy bear. Sometimes the stories with the least information and answers are scariest, as they allow our minds to wander and imagine various frightening scenarios. Number 8. Search Returns Strange Evidence A ranger and their co-worker were called to head out and search for a group of teen hikers that had become separated from their group. They spent most of their day heading in the direction of where the teenagers had last been seen. Eventually, deep into the woods and their journey, they came across a startling discovery. They found branches which had been carved into spears placed into the ground, unidentifiable carvings in trees, children's stuffed toys hanging from ropes tied to the trees. One thing they noticed was that the symbols in the trees appeared to be freshly carved. As would be expected, the two were spooked, but settled down nearby as night was coming and they had to sleep. In the morning, they discovered shoe prints and a piece of fabric that had become caught on a tree. Someone had been there in the night. The teens were later discovered and the two workers returned back to base, never knowing who had been in the woods with them that night. Number 7. Strange Creature a camp counselor in New York made a scary discovery when he was sneaking out late at night to meet up with his girlfriend. It was about 1 a.m. when he heard rustling in the woods next to him, expecting to be faced with something like a bear, deer, or other wild animal. Unexpectedly, a creature burst forth from the bushes towards him. In the darkness, he described the creature's appearance as being three feet tall, standing on two legs, and having two arms, looking like a miniature person. 
While it can be easy to misidentify animals in the dark of night, I personally can't think of any normal forest creature that would match anything close to this description. He then moved towards it and it apparently got scared, running away in a strange manner that the camp counselor described as being similar to doing the robot dance. To this day, he has no idea what the creature might have been. Number 6. Light on the Cliff An unfortunate part of being a park ranger is having to go on search and rescue missions for missing people, and never knowing what state you might find them in, if at all. One park ranger recounts a story of him and his co-worker on one of these calls, searching for a man in his 20s who had gone missing. As they spent the day searching with no luck, they decided to set up a camp and rest for the night. At about 2 a.m., he got up to go to the bathroom, when he spotted a bright light moving on a cliff a few miles away, saying it looked to be like a flashlight beam. In the morning, they went to search that area, and unfortunately found the missing man's body at the base of the cliff. What caught the ranger's attention was a flashlight, similar to the one he thought he had seen on the cliff. So it seems to make sense. The man had been walking with his flashlight and had unfortunately fallen. But it doesn't end there. When the coroner arrived to inspect the body, it was determined the man had clearly been dead for over 48 hours. So how could it have been him shining his flashlight on the cliff the night before? Apparently, another search and rescue team member had been near the area and hadn't seen any other people. To this day, there seems to be no explanation for what that light was. Number 5. Burned Mannequins Another park ranger on Reddit shared his experience while working at a national wildlife refuge that had formerly been home to a U.S. Army lab site. The site had been completely transformed to become a wildlife refuge, with years of thorough cleanup needing to be done on things like barbed wire fences and barricades before it could be opened. One night, when the ranger was walking deep into the forest, he saw figures in the distance. This caught him off guard, as you're not permitted to leave the trails at all. So who was out there? The ranger announced himself and moved closer, and what he discovered was six mannequins in military uniforms, which appeared to have been badly burnt. Six burned figures standing around in the woods in the dark of night would have been scary for anyone to stumble upon, though apparently he chalked it up to having been part of a fabric test. Still pretty scary to discover though, and to think it was somehow missed in the decade-long cleanup of the park. Number four, only resident. A park ranger for a small island was the only year-round resident of the area. The island had no bridges or ferries and could only be accessed by private boats. The island would be crowded in the summer, but in the off-season, the island was only inhabited by the ranger. Walking at night, he was adventuring around the island, seeing if he could hike the entire distance. He saw a flash of white in the distance, thinking it was a herd of the brown and white deer which were local to the area. He pressed forward, before hearing something move again. Suddenly, out of the woods came a six-foot-tall man, wearing a bright white shirt. He sprinted straight up to the ranger with a strange grin on his face, before shouting and laughing loudly, quickly sprinting back into the woods again. The ranger was rightfully terrified, because as far as he knew, he was the only person on the small island. For the next few days, he tried to find any evidence of another person living on the island, but never found any campsite, boats, or other signs of life. Number 3. Mysterious Stranger A ranger was leading a hiking trip to the top of a mountain in North Carolina, a difficult hike far from any civilization. When they reached the peak, they set up a camp on a beautiful clear night. Since it was so nice out, after the group had gone to bed in their tents, the ranger chose to sleep outside in a hammock, reading a book to pass the time. Due to the brightness of the camp and the moon, it was easy for them to see around the camp and the trail that they had taken to get there. They were soon caught off guard by the sight of something moving, expecting it to be a bear. But as they got closer, they realized it was the shape of a person. They found it odd to see someone at the top of the difficult and long trail at night, with no light or any sign of gear. They watched the person move closer towards the camp before the figure stopped, staring out at the camp. The figure stood there for a while before moving to sit under a tree, still staring intently. The ranger watched the man sit there for what was apparently a few hours, before the figure got up and made his way back down to the trail. This left the poor ranger with a paranoid feeling of being followed for the remainder of the trip. Number 2. Deer Head It's not uncommon to find animals or animal remains in the woods, circle of life and all that. But a Yellowstone ranger described their very bizarre experience which occurred near a valley deep into the park. 
While walking a trail, they found in the middle of the path the head of a deer. What was strange was that the head was perfectly clean, no sign of blood and no sign of an animal having tried to eat it. The ranger didn't find any other signs of other animals that may have been around the area and done this. They also had no explanation for why a human may have done this, as it was a doe with no antlers that a hunter may want to collect. The experience left the ranger shaking and desperately trying to come up with an explanation for the bizarre and shocking discovery, but none could be found. Number one, skin changer. One wildland firefighter shares a story that his supervisor had told him many times. Apparently in Idaho, the crew had been working on a large fire incident and would have to be there through the night in order to deal with it. The supervisor went out on an ATV to get a look at the nearby area when a large cat, seemingly a bobcat, ran out into the road. The animal stood there and stared at him for a while before letting out a loud scream and running up a tree nearby the road. While startling, it didn't appear to be any reason for concern. Further down the road, he discovered an abandoned cabin. This was also strange as the land was federal property and there should be no buildings. The house appeared derelict and was boarded up, everything inside appearing incredibly out of order. Unsettled, the supervisor got back on his ATV to head back, but at the exact same place where he had seen the bobcat, a woman stood in the road with a nightgown and bare feet. He asked if she needed help, to which she responded with a scream, before running up the same tree the bobcat had, faster than any human would be able to. After returning, he asked locals about the cabin in the area, recounting his experience, to which they told him that he had likely had an encounter with a skin changer.